There again, it's PowerCycleTrading.com. Well, you know, in trading, sometimes uh, not losing money is just as important as making money. So I'm going to show you a uh, hedge strategy that we did uh, on a trade on NVIDIA. So here's NVIDIA. And yesterday, going into the uh, end of the day, we had a really nice uh, setup here that we were looking for a breakout trade to the upside on NVIDIA. So it was coming into this kind of 382 retracement here. We we had our uh, momentum indicators giving us a directional buy signal. We had a reversals on uh, moving even average crosses that we like to look at. So we were looking for this to really nice, have a nice break to the upside and targeting 550, 556. But uh, then overnight, you know, you had the the issues and the, the fallout with political fallout with the Senate, et cetera, et cetera. And that just put a headwind on a lot of the tech stock. So what happened was the market started to sell off uh, during the day. And so what we did, we had created, we had set up a butterfly yesterday targeting 550. And then today when uh, this started to roll over, we had, and created what we call a ratio butterfly and did that for a credit received. So we actually have zero downside risk and still the potential for a huge upside profit target uh, if this was to turn around into next week. So let's take a look at the, the option trade setup. So yesterday, looking for this momentum breakout to the upside, we did a butterfly that was targeting 550 right here. There was a lot of option activity for next week on the monthly expiration. So we did a 535 long call, 550 short, and then 550 short again, 560. So $15 wide butterfly spread for $2.20. So total risk, $220 per butterfly spread. Now, you know, today when it started breaking down, started breaking below yesterday's closing price right here, about $222, we um, established a hedge. And what we did was we turned this into a ratio butterfly by selling an additional credit spread, the 550-565. So let's take a look at how that shifted our risk. So we started with the, the butterfly, which is basically a combination of two vertical spreads. So we've got the vertical debit spread, the 5 355 50 call debit spread 597 was that part of it and then at the same time we'd sold the 550 565 credit spread so that creates this butterfly structure balanced butterfly uh, for next week's expiration now when it started breaking down here uh, we hedged it by shifting this or readjusting re this to what we call a ratio butterfly by selling an additional 550 565 vertical call credit spread all right so brought in another 230 dollars credit so this is what we call a ratio butterfly so now we've got zero risk to the downside we we actually have a $10 credit. So if the market keeps going down, you can see where the market closed today at 510. So if it stays down here and keeps going down, we'll actually make $10 per spread at next week's expiration. Now, the, the really amazing thing though, is if this was to turn around, which anything's possible and head back towards 550. Now, if we get to 550 next week into expiration, this trade could be up over, let's take a look here. We could be up over uh, $1,300 per spread and uh, pretty amazing comeback. So this is a, a really great way for hedging with options, and this is what we call a ratio butterfly. So by selling that additional credit spread there, we took in and converted this trade from a losing trade for any downside movement to a trade that will actually make us $10 if uh, NVIDIA keeps going to the downside. But if it turns around and goes back up, we have potential to make a lot of money uh, based on the ratio butterfly structure. So if you'd like to learn more about uh, this type of directional trading using options, please make sure to check, it, check us out at PowerCycleTrading.com and good luck trading.